Yo, everyone, it's your boy, Rad 89 here. Let me fix this microphone, make sure it's all tight. Oh, we're here to talk about, you know what it is, the return of the boy. We're on to Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers. After dealing with Halloween 3, which oh, for me is not a popular one in my opinion, but now we're on to Halloween 4. In a lot of people's eyes, this is in like the top 3. This is a very popular film. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. And of course, we're going to be getting into some spoilers, so you have to go check out this movie and then come back here so we can talk about it. So let's get into this video. So Halloween 4, Return of Michael Myers. Oh man, this is an exciting one because we finally get him back. This is what fans have been asking for. And I think Mustafa Akkad and a lot of the producers and creators of this film knew that they had a return to that origin, you know what I mean? Kind of go back to where what Halloween began, you know what I mean? Because they tried to do something else with Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. It just didn't turn out that well, so they wanted to go back to its roots, back to the Michael Myers story, and revamp him for sure. And oh man, even in the box office, Halloween 4, Return of Michael Myers is popularly known for reviving this franchise. It's really popular amongst fans, amongst critics. Like, oh man, like I don't even know why this film, for some reason, has a 29% on Rotten Tomatoes, but we won't talk about that. This is a good film for sure. So let's get down to talking about the things I really do enjoy about this fourth film. So Halloween 4, we get to return back to Haddonfield as we see, you know, we get introduced to some new characters too. But in the beginning, we get that first glimpse of Michael Myers, a comatose Michael Myers that's been kind of just out for years. I think it's about 10 years, the gap between the last film and this film. I think it's supposed to be about 10 years. And he's just been comatose, asleep the whole time, you know, kind of waiting for that moment to wake up and like oh we get this cool beginning intro scene with this ambulance ride that are going to pick him up and transport him to a new hospital the smith's grove they do it without loomis's permission like without him even there they just decide to transport myers and it's like oh man like this other doctor's there and just kind of like oh signs the paperwork signs him over and of course myers wakes up in the ambulance causing a really horrific crash you know destroying everybody inside and ripping them apart but then he gets to escape and oh we all know what his plan is to make his way back to Haddonfield then we get introduced to what I think some of the best characters in this film Rachel and Jamie Jamie of course be played by Daniel Harris and then we have Rachel's character their uh, uh, stepsisters you know what I mean and Rachel's the older one Jamie's the younger one and they are two really good characters in this film I think that's some of the best things you can say about this fourth film is I think the characters are really rich in this film us also we have Donald Pleasance coming back as Loomis so it's got like I said, a lot of good returning characters, but we also get Sheriff Ben Meeker, who I think is one of the best sheriffs that we've had in the Halloween franchise. So as I said, that's a key thing. The characters in this one, I think, are very rich and fun to be around and interesting, you know what I mean, within the film. And I think it's just great to be back in Haddonfield as we see this story unfold as Michael Myers goes to stalk Jamie, who is his niece. So it's like, you know, being chased by, you know, her horrific uncle. She's being teased at school, too, while she's at school about her uncle. Like, it's kind of like this story that's spread around. Like, oh, man, like, you know, the boogeyman. Your uncle's the boogeyman, and people are making fun of her. So you really feel bad for Jamie, too. And, like, Daniel Harris is such a good actress portraying that emotions through her eyes and her face. There's also a lot of stunts in this movie there's a lot of kills in this movie like Halloween 4 does have a lot of stuff going for it you know it has a lot of things to offer all the Halloween fans you know we got the return of Michael we got some of the best new rich characters in a Halloween franchise film and we also got some really good kills in this film and a lot of good stunt work throughout the entire film now let's get on to talking about some of the gripes I have with this movie and there are some things that I do not like about this film one of my main issues, my number one issue with this film is this is my least favorite performance of Michael Myers. Also my least favorite look for Michael Myers. I think the costume, the mask, everything about this Myers is horrible. Like I just do not enjoy it at all. And I'm pretty sure we have two different Michael Myers in this film because there's a stunt work scene where Donald Pleasance gets thrown out of a like the house in the school and he gets thrown out of the window when he gets separated from Jamie and that Myers looks nothing like has a completely different mask completely different build and looks nothing like the one we're following throughout the film so it's like you can tell they kind of had to reshoot I think some things and like oh man like I said this Myers just is definitely my least favorite I think 
in terms of portrayal of his character in the film. I also found out that this film, it does have four different writers on for credit on this movie and this film. I figured out that the main writer who started this film, who was the first writer for it, finished this film before the writing strike and did it in 11 days and then gave the script over to them and the director and I think they had uh, three other people kind of touch on this film and rewrite it and add things and I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on in this film there's kind of a little bit some subplots that don't get explored very much and I think there's actually a better film at the heart of this movie that is actually better like in terms of like possibly having an evil doctor to go against Dr. Loomis, that first doctor that we meet, and he kind of has this look and this way about him, and he signs Myers over. Like, I think it would just be interesting if he was the reason that Myers got out. He wanted to get him out, and it's like, you know, having two dueling doctors, but we have so much other stuff going on in the film, and like I said, a lot of subplots, I think, get dropped, and you could definitely tell there's four different writers in this film. And I think the film sets itself up for having, like, kind of three endings. It kind of doesn't know where to end. Like I said, you know there's four different writers in this film. We have three kind of epic moments throughout this film like i said i like the way that our third act it keeps going man like our third act it keeps going they keep giving you more and more and i thought it would end at one point in the house this is a kind of a good setup we have a lengthy time in there then we go to a school scene then we go somewhere else on a car chase scene on the back of a pickup truck so it's got a lot of crazy stuff in that third act and i think it just kind of keeps going and going and you can really tell that they wanted to amp it up to 11 and of course have this epic ending for Michael in this fourth film, but I definitely feel you can tell that there's four different writers in this movie, and I think that's a problem for me when I'm watching it. But overall in my book, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, man, this is still going to be a 7 out of 10. This is a really good, a solid film in the Halloween franchise for me. Like I said, I really do enjoy this film. There's just some gripes, like that major issue with having that worst Michael Myers, I think, is in this film. The look, the style, everything about the Myers in this one, I really didn't enjoy. But as I said, all those other things, those rich characters around him in this movie I like the having Michael back of course and returning to Haddonfield are all pluses in my book thanks for sticking around with me all oh my god like I'm so excited we're gonna be on to Halloween 5 and I know I might have some kind of divisive issues and like you know people might be Ooh, a little upset with my views on Halloween 5, but like we'll get into that one when we get to that video. So stay tuned and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and keep that notification bell clicked so you're notified anytime I post videos. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.